everyone. It's Hayden and it's Dorky Little Shit Sundays with Hayden. And I have a guest here. This is Nick. Hey, what's up everybody? And this week's topic is dating while being trans. Yeah. Um, so I don't really have much experience with this, so my topics will really be like dating sites and the good and bad that comes with that, how I guess awkward I am, and then Nick has a little more experience with like actually dating people, yep. so yeah. he's going to talk about the legitimate stuff. Yours is legitimate too, it's just legitimate in different sense. In different ways. Yeah. Um, so, I guess, let's see, um, I've been out for four or five months now, I think. Um, so, with that came, in the beginning it was kind of rocky as far as dating went, because there was... Um, I don't know, some confusion on other people's parts as to, like, how things worked. So I had, like, one person who tried to, um, get back together with me, actually, who, uh, knew me before when I identified as female, quote-unquote, and, uh, they, they said that they were supportive, and, like, I let them know from the beginning, and then things actually started to get a little weird around like a week into it and they were like no like i totally see you as a guy but like you know it's just hard for me to honor your pronouns and your name and you know i don't see why you need to do these things so it was essentially like i'm gonna say that i see you as a guy but i'm not actually gonna follow through with like any of it um and that was one where i was just like yeah, yeah no i love myself so like if you can't be a part of that there's the door. <laughs> Bye. Um, yeah. It's really fucked up. It's, like, <laughs> it's just, it's really shitty sometimes. Actually, you know, right. I lied and... Right. It's like, I, I respect you, but not actually. Like, no, no. Um, so, I'm in a relationship right now. Uh, yeah. What's up? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's only funny because, like, we're both usually just single as fuck. <laughs> um... But, uh, I am in a relationship with a cisgendered, uh, male, and, um, they actually hadn't met me before I had medically started my transition. Um, I was out, but I was a little bit less passable, even though that's, like, a troublesome term. We're not gonna get into that, but, um, so as far as that goes, like, that's one of the first things that I think a lot of people are concerned about as far as dating and like that's kind of one of the hardest things to like navigate is like well when do I tell them or like how do I tell them um my philosophy on that is usually just like I try to get it out as soon as possible um in like a safe scenario because like you know sometimes people are cool and then they're really not <laughs> um, which can be really problematic um but I try to get that out on the table like right away so that way it's it's clear that like I'm male, this is my situation, this is what what's going on and like if you aren't interested in that, that's totally cool. Like we don't need to go anywhere with this. Like we're just talking, you know. So I I like to give people an exit clause. <laughs> um, just cuz it just I'd rather not get like involved and then have somebody be like, "Oh, so that's a thing. Now I have issues with that." And like I don't want to be partially invested and then have you be like, oh, you're trans, I can't do that. So, because that's shitty. It's it just, is. it's shitty. Um, I think part of that also, you have to like kind of educate people. Um, and like some people have like a, a fair base of knowledge on their own. Um, and other people don't, and that's totally fine. But to some extent, like, I've tried to explain things by myself, but then I also get moments where it's, like, really awkward, and it's like, well, how do I explain to you, like, what dysphoria feels like, and, like, you know, like, stuff like that. Um, so, I rely on YouTube videos a lot. Um, there's, like, a web series by Laura Jane Grace, um, and I played that, like, entire thing for my partner, and I was just like, yeah, so this is, like, kind of, like, a base base of knowledge for us to go off of. Um, hmm. Yeah. And then, like, you kind of just go off of that. So, sometimes people don't have questions because, like, they don't even know where to start. And then that's, that's something that, like, I don't know, can be nice and also can be, like, 
but I want to make sure that you know, <laughs> like, you understand. yeah, exactly. Um, like, pronouns and stuff are probably one of the first things that, like, I like to cover with people just because it's like, hey, like, this is not okay. Like, and this is what, it's not really a preferred pronoun. Like, this is just my pronoun. This is just my name. Like, yeah. just kind of respect that. Um, let's see. Sexuality is something that, like, a lot of people, like, it's so odd that so many people just have, like, very strict views of, like, what their sexuality is and, like, what that means to them and, like, all that stuff. Yeah. So I have, uh, an ex on campus. We didn't really date for that long. Um, I don't even know if I would consider dating, but, you know, whatever. I was young. Um, <laughs> who found out about it and then like, realign themselves sexually, like, immediately, which I didn't really think was necessary, because I kind of was just like, yeah, so anybody who, like, dated me previously, like, I identified as a girl or whatever, so, you know, you're totally fine there. It was mostly just because I live in a small town that's kind of homophobic, and I didn't really want to get, like, beat up or anything for it, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, like, they just realigned themselves as bisexual, um, like immediately afterwards and that was pretty chill but um like in current relationships or like pursuing a relationship a lot of people get really curious about that and that's for the most part like has been cis individuals because like i don't know i haven't really talked to a lot of like gender ambiguous people like most people it just i don't, I don't know most people are cisgendered yeah <laughs> like true. i mean you know um so, my current partner has actually been, like, super duper cool about it, um, because that was something I was, like, really worried about, was, like, oh, you know, like, this cis guy, and he's gonna be, like, oh, no, I'm actually straight, and that would really suck, because you wouldn't be straight, because, like, it's not about parts, it's about your heart and stuff, so, like, no, you wouldn't be straight. <laughs> um, and I remember the first time that, like, we actually explicitly talked about it, we were out in public. And there was, like, this giant group of people walking by us, and he was just like, yeah, so you're my boyfriend, and, like, I just, like, I was like, holy shit, like, I was, like, super overjoyed, but also was like, there's a huge group of people, what's going on, like, somebody's gonna be like, oh my god, gays, and, like, we're gonna, I don't know, I'm, I'm nervous, um, but it actually, like, went really well, and, like, he, um, doesn't... I don't know, he doesn't necessarily view himself as gay, um, but he realizes that we are in a gay relationship, we're in a queer relationship. Um, so his sexuality overall, I'm not too concerned with, because like, it's the here and the now. Um, but he does view me as male, and he does call me his boyfriend, which is pretty sweet. So, pretty um, yeah. Um... Which actually is, like, a really big thing, and I don't know if, like, a lot of people realize that, is, like, part of dating and respecting someone who is FTM is, like, understanding that if you are, you know, like, a cis dude, that you aren't straight anymore, and if you call yourself straight, that can actually be, like, really bothersome. Like, extremely, extremely bothersome. It's like, okay, but you don't see me as who I am, then that's not okay. A lot of people are like, well, you know... You could just you could just identify as bi right. and there's no issue. Right. And like a lot of people are like, Well, you know, if no straight people will date you, then there's always the bi people and it's like, well, I mean, you don't have to like narrow me down to just like right. queer people. Right. Like it, it's not how it works. It's yeah. if you're a guy, a girl dates you, then it's a straight relationship, then it's just simple as that. And then right. everyone's like, But but, you know, worst comes to worst, you date a bi person. Like, I mean, there's nothing against that. Right, but, like, I don't have a problem with that, but, like, I'm not just... You shouldn't have to, like, narrow exactly. it down. And I'm not like, going to be like, can't date oh, I can't people. talk to you, talk to you, because you aren't bi. Like, yeah. What? Like, what? I, what? Be like, wait, before I flirt with you, can I ask you, are you queer? Exactly. Are you... Because if you're straight, I, I gotta hit the road. Right. Yeah. Like, you can't just... And, like, that's the other weird thing, is, like, some people who ascribe to queer labels actually kind of have a problem with it more than people who ascribe to straight labels. So, like, I think the moral of the story is labels suck, and you should just talk to people and find out, like, who they are and whether or not they're willing to, you know, be flexible with it. Yeah.
Hey, so that was part one of the long video that me and Nick made. Um, we had a lot to say, a lot of, I think, important information, so I'm going to have maybe like a box right here if I figure out how to do that um, with a link that will take you to my personal channel that will have part two and part three um, because we recorded about 36 minutes of it. Um, so. And then I will have below probably a list of what kind of stuff those videos will have um, if you're continuing watching right now. Video part two will have um, basically coming out to your significant other's friends and family, um, dealing with your significant other trying to out you to other people, kind of talking about that to them. Um, kind of where the quote Nick Diggs people comes from will be in there. Um, sexuality, uh, what it makes you, what makes what it makes them, that kind of dealing with that kind of thing. Um, the parts questions from other people to your significant other. Um, just kind of talking about that. Um, and kind of ending the thing with a quote of dicks for days. Um, you'll understand all of that when you get to part two. Again, there will probably be a box around right here, maybe right now, um, and if not, if I can't figure that out, there will be a link below. I'm also going to have um, just my channel um, link, my Tumblr link, Nick's Tumblr link, um, Nick's channel link, um, just for you guys to check it out. Um, if you have any questions or anything, comment below. Um, I hope that you guys watch part two and part three. I'm going to be putting those up. Um, yeah.